What if I told you that this was an actual controller? That's right, this is the Cracked Atom because it is so small, it is the size of an atom. And just, just, just look at this right here. Look at the size of it compared to a Steam Deck. That is the actual size of the controller. I mean, my lens cap even, you know, covers that up. They come in loads of different colors. They just sent through two, but there's some really awesome like retro inspired ones and different vibrant colors and transparent ones as well. And these actually come in at $20 or 20 pounds or 25 euros. So they're relatively inexpensive and they're more of like a novelty controller, but they actually function but you know, it's it's cracked, so they pair up with their app to collect them all. We'll look at the app a bit later, but this is how it comes. I don't even know if I've unsealed this one. No, I haven't. So this is the box for the Cracked Atom. I love the design. It's got like massive 90s retro like sort of vibes to me. Like it reminds me of being a kid here in the UK at least going to somewhere like Toy Master or something like that and seeing like collectibles in packaging. I don't know why I get those feels. I'm sure that's the sort of route they were going for just here. You can see some of the colors that I was talking about just there on the top that are available. Really like all of the colors available. And yeah, I just, I really like the packaging you know this would look pretty cool like on your shelf i mean i've got a ridiculous shelf behind me off camera and they're probably gonna go and sit up there but this is what we get inside it's a really nice packaging as you'd come to expect from cracked oh more stickers and opening it up just like this pudding you get some paper you know because that's what you'd want and then obviously you get the controller like look how cool that is that's so cool i really like the green I really like the green a lot. Like that is freaking awesome. So yeah, we'll come back to those in a sec because you get more stuff in the box. So opening it up, you get a USB-A to USB-C cable. It is absolutely tiny as you would kind of expect. It's kind of like a bit of a joke, isn't it? But then we get everyone's favorite gaming accessory the lanyard yes that's right you do have a lanyard just because it's so small you're probably going to lose it so you're just going to flip it through there like this open it up and then just kind of push the rest through so that you can get this out like that Pating, like there we go there we go that's that's how you do it and because it's a bluetooth controller this works with practically anything smart tvs android apple mac pc steam deck switch basically anything that can take a bluetooth connection this can work with but yeah let's take a look at the controller shall we so this is the cracked atom we've got the purple transparent one which i'm a big fan of i love transparent stuff and again it's got like a 90s sort of vibe to it we've got this which is basically saying like tap this on the phone your nfc scanner so that you can collect them all and they register in your app we will do that soon so we've got Four buttons at the top, four shoulder buttons. We've got L, Z, L, Z, R, and R, and a USB-C charge port. This, despite how tiny it is, gets like 10 hours battery life. That's insane. Got the home button at the top there. We've got our minus and plus, so start and select, essentially. We've got our D-pad and then a Nintendo layout there. And that's, that's basically it, as well as the lanyard clip. Reset button on the back as well. It's so simple. But that's part of the reason why I love this, because like nothing can go wrong. Once you're Bluetooth connected, everything works. So I'm in Metroid Zero Mission just here, just because I find playing like retro titles with this my favorite way of using this, because obviously there's no like joysticks, it's just a D-pad. So I've been really enjoying playing emulated Game Boy Advance games and any older titles that I think would like suit a controller like this, right? But let's just have a feel of it. So the D-pad is not clicky at all. And it's not like horribly mushy either. It's got a really nice concave on it for how small this is. You know, it protrudes well, it rolls well as well. Very nice feeling. We've got very clicky minus plus and home buttons and we've got membrane face buttons which again they don't stick they're very quick to return they've got little recesses in beneath them so they are sort of recessed they, they feel really nice the shoulder buttons nice and clicky as well like very clicky like that and that's pretty much it like it doesn't feel horrible i, I was actually expecting this to feel like a little bit rubbish. Sorry, Cracked. Like, I just thought, there's no way they're gonna make a tiny, tiny controller and actually get it to feel nice. I kind of like this, you know? Like, obviously this is a novelty controller, but 
it's pretty good. Right, so we are in Metroid just here because, you know, I, I like playing platformers and Metroidvanias and stuff, right? And let's just get away from some enemies. So if I press down on the D-pad and roll left and right, you know, I have to put a lot of force for it to input left and it inputs left more than it inputs right. So it's very slightly inconsistent, but it is a fairly good four-way D-pad. Like if I press down and roll left and right just there, look, Samus isn't actually moving, but if I really give it some to the left, oh, it's not doing it now. Earlier she was kind of going left as well. And if I go to the top and go right, nothing. If I go left, oh, just a little bit. So it's very minorly inconsistent, but Honestly, I am pushing so hard just to get it to input there. Like, if you're actually just playing a game, it's fine. I've been playing Prince of Persia on the Game Boy Advance, like, you know, emulating it on the Steam Deck just here with this, and I had no misinput. Now, obviously, with it being so absolutely tiny, it's going to give you a bit of hand cramp after time, right? But I think the pros outweigh that. Because the whole point of this is just to have this in your pocket. Like, you don't, it doesn't matter. And that's why I wanted to talk to you about, like, use cases. For me, I wouldn't be using it with a Steam Deck or a Switch. I mean, you could absolutely get four of these and do, like, four player on a small screen. And they're really easy to carry around, you know, just chuck them in your bag or even in your pocket. You won't even know they're there. But for me, I think where this excels is emulating or just playing phone games. You know, just getting your phone and just literally having it with your phone. So you could just, you have your phone on you at all times, right? All the time. And if you had this in your pocket, it does not take up any space whatsoever. So if you are at a push or if you've got one of those phone cases where there's like a stand on the back so you can prop it up if you're on a train or something, you could hook this up to your phone and literally play like or emulate whatever you want to do. I mean, you could even stream games, whatever. It would be really, really cool to use in that scenario. That's my way of thinking. I've not really done that. I've just been using it in the studio and stuff, but if I was to actually like go out with one of these, I think that's how I would use it. But yeah, these have got to be the smallest controllers I have seen possibly ever. I, I think that like actually usable and actually decent. I mean, at 20 pounds, that's still quite a lot, but honestly, these are really fun. And if you're gonna go traveling or if you just want a really small controller to use with your phone or whatever it might be, or you just like playing or emulating retro titles and platformers and stuff, I think this is a really fun little thing to have. And you know, for the right person, I think they're gonna love these. And I just like that they did it. I was not expecting it at all. And Cracked were just like, yeah, we're just releasing tiny, tiny controllers. I'm like, cool, why not? So what do you think of the Cracked Atom? Is this something you'd be interested in? Like, let me know down in the comments and whilst you're down there like this video subscribe become a member and you can see these videos early and talk to me and aj over in our private discord and talking of aj check out our podcast where we talk about all things gaming and check out another video from me down here bye